Greetings everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to back up files to a USB f um, flash drive. What I've got here on the left is what's on my current uh, PC, my, my desktop computer. On the right hand side is the USB uh, stick. So we have down here we have uh, File Explorer we could even have a th we, we've opened by pressing it you get one window uh, by right clicking it and choosing file explorer you get another window so we've opened up one for the flash drive which opened automatically when we pushed it into the USB slot and this one we had to open ourselves now here's some tips before you do anything make right click inside the USB drive and make a folder and this is going to be backup of PC and then put the date uh, 2017 it's February so we will go to well we could go Feb to keep it straight and the date is the first so we'll do that we'll click press the enter key now if we press the enter key again that will be open on this side we have all the stuff that we want to put into this drive so what we're going to do Let's say we want to put some of these things in here. Let's go into... Uh, ha, da, da. What's a good one? Here's a movie. Uh, I don't think I have any notes. Okay, here's some notes. I don't know what these are. These are, I think, from the, the notepad. So we could choose one, and we could right-click and go copy. All right. We could choose the first one and maybe choose the th by holding down the control key we could choose the third one the fourth one fifth one whatever and then the last one and we could right click and then go copy or we could choose the first one and then hold down the shift key and press the last one so that means they're all selected all that means if you haven't done anything yet they're just selected now we're going to go right click and we're going to go copy if you go cut these things are, are sucked up into the the system memory and then you can put them all over into another folder somewhere the problem with that is if something screws up in the middle these things may go back to where they were or they may not if you go copy these are all left here but they're copied over into the right hand side so once you know that they're all here and everything's safe i don't know what just happened but anyway um, we'll right click again we'll go down to the Kingston oh there we go I don't know what happened with it but anyway so they're there and this is the backup of C and that's it so we didn't lose anything now if we go back to this and we go back to we'll just go back one where's that button there it is that takes us back to the main screen we could go into a movie. We made a DVD, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. So we've got all the files here. Now we can copy a folder too. Right click, copy the whole folder. We could copy the files as I just showed you. Or we could copy just one file and then another file by holding down the control key. That's all good. Easy to do. All of your stuff is on the left-hand side. This is your whole computer. Um, if you want to find all the drives, there's all the drives there. Um, and you, you, on this side, you single-click. On this side, you have to double-click uh, program files. So we have to double-click to, to see these. And inside each of these, there are other files. So you kind of have to know where things are easiest way to find something quickly or more or less quickly depending on your computer let's say you know that you, you this could be like your own personal Google so you type up here what you're looking for on your computer and it could be like Joe's letter or or Mary's graduation photo whatever or you can use what's called a wild card let's say you want to find all the text documents on the computer every single one this is going back to MS-DOS of course 
So what we're going to do is we're we'll hold down the shift key and we're going to use a wild card, which is an asterisk. Then we're going to go a period, and then we're going to go txt. And that's going to find all the text files on the computer. I could go uh, AVI. That one's rather dangerous on this computer, so we're not going to do it. Or we could go, um, we could find every single file on the computer, believe it or not, by, by typing that. Now, that asterisk means any. The period separates the any from the uh, file type. And this is any file type. So by, by doing that, you're finding every single file on the computer, which is, which is pretty cool. There'll be like half a million on this computer. If it's on another drive, obviously you can find it on another drive here, D or C or whatever. Um, once you find the stuff, you can copy it over into the flash drive. Now, you kind of have to make sure you've got enough room in your flash drive to hold stuff. So you right click it, then you go properties. And this says that this has about 16 total gigabytes, 14 and a half actually. We've used 13 gigabytes. We have two and a half gigabytes left. Before you copy a movie over or a whole bunch of files, you know, you want to make sure you've got room on your on your drive. So we're going to stop this. Now the, the last step that I think I want to show you, let's go into something okay let's go into this one and you know that stuff we just copied over this stuff well it's got all these numbers over here that's the size but I want to find out how how big this whole section is so I'm gonna highlight the ball and then I go right click and then I'm gonna go properties and that will tell me that those whatever files there's how many there 11 uh, take up half of a gigabyte, uh, of a me megabyte, 535 um, kilobytes. Actually, it's not half a half a megabyte. Anyway, <laughs> that shows you how you do it. You could also right-click the whole folder and go Properties, and it will tell you how big that folder is. Reason you do that is to find out if you have enough room on your drive to swap, you know, to copy things over. All right, we're finished that. You've done your backup and you, you've got all the stuff you wanted to off the computer. Now you want to take the flash drive out of the, the computer. You have to first close this down. You can't just yank the flash drive out. You'll, you'll scramble everything on it, so, so don't do that. You're going to close this down. You're going to go down here. I don't know if you can see this or not, and we're going to go safely remove hardware and then we're going to eject the data traveler and this comes up saying sure we can take it out now we've we've we're not using it anymore don't ever take out a flash drive from the slot until you get that notification from windows yeah i, I don't care if it takes 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour for it to get rid of uh whatever it's doing um, you, you have to do that, otherwise you'll scramble or corrupt everything on the drive. Sometimes you say, sometimes it'll work out, sometimes it won't. It's better not to uh, not to do it though. Even if it takes shutting the computer down, if you shut your computer down, Windows gets you know gets its hands off everything and just shuts down. That's fine if you can do that. All right, that's my video for the day. Computers made simple, over and out. If you have any questions, just ask, all right?